Hello everybody and welcome to my 37th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the uh, worksheet change function. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, is as an example, uh, whenever you type anything into the, the sheet, whenever you make a change to the sheet, it's just going to kind of censor the, the sheet for you. Um, so I've already put in a function uh, called sensor. We pass it a string and it just returns the string back after uh, censoring out some obscene words. I didn't want to put actual obscene words in because uh, I'm just conscious that I've got quite a few younger viewers. Um, so I've made up my own. So we've got mankra and wazzle which from now on forwards are, are kind of forbidden. Um, can't speak them anymore. So what we're going to want to do in our code, we don't want to, we don't want these coming through. We don't want people kind of accidentally typing in. They're feeling a little bit lazy or or tired. So we're going to just star them out as such. Um, similarly, you could do it to star out kind of names or something. I don't know, but um, you get the idea. Uh, and so that function then just returns us a string back. So that's put in our change event so worksheet and then this time we want to select the worksheet change and just delete the selection change one because we don't want that uh, and then again it's given us the target as a range so we just want to go for each uh, cl in target dot cells go through all the cells in that range and for each one we just want to put cl dot value equals and then we want to call our sensor and we want to pass in the value of that cell so cl dot value so we're just going to go each cell in the the target that we've changed for each one we want to just make the value censored value so let's try and type something in here then. So uh, you are such a wazzle. And this is just going to, this error that I've come up with is one that happens quite often when you use the worksheet change event. Um, if we go back into our workbook, you'll notice that it has actually censored uh, out our, our thing and it's run it. All that's happened is it doesn't actually want to run it again because when we do this section of code, it's going to change the workbook. Um, so when we do that worksheet change, it's actually calling its own function again. So it kind of gets stuck in an infinite loop. So to get around this, all we're going to do is just go application dot enable events equals false and then when we get to the end of our function just put them back on again and then all this is going to do is when we change the worksheet the worksheet in our code it's no longer actually going to call that function again which is what we want so let's try this now let's go back into our workbook uh, and let's just type that in again. So you are such a wazzle. Press enter. And there we go. So let's run fine. And it's censored it out for us. Um, so what it's doing is it start, it's doing the worksheet change. As it does the worksheet change, it's going, oh, he's put in a function that he wants to run when we do this. And we've gone into this. We've then turned events off because we don't want it when we change the workbook to keep calling this and cause an infinite loop. We're then going through each of the cells that we've changed and changing the value to a censored value. Uh, and then we're just setting the events back to true so that the next time we want to run it, it will run again. Uh, and let's just show you with the other one. So Mankler. So I wish I had a Mankler. Press and and it's just going to censor it out for us. Um, so that's how you use the worksheet change event. And hopefully that's quite a useful um, example for you. And 
uh, that that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the worksheet activation event.